Okay guys, today uh, I'm playing around in, uh, with this Wi-Fi uh, radio, Wi-Fi router. And I made a little portable one that goes in a box. This is a, um, a cigarette box, or a cigar box I should say. And uh, you see it's got the little antenna sticking out the end of folds folds around if you want but uh, you open it up what makes it cool is it's it's a complete router with the little on off switch here and um, it uh, it runs off five AA batteries okay which in itself makes it pretty portable that's that's pretty cool but uh, makes it even better is I added a solar panel to the outside of the box and of course it runs on the inside here and it charges as long as this is in the sun or gets some sunlight it will keep those batteries charged now the panel itself will run the router all by itself without batteries but the batteries kinda act as a flywheel so like if a cloud goes over or something like that well then it'll, it'll stay online but uh, what makes it cool is that this router um, what it does is uh, it automatically scans for open Wi-Fi networks every 30 seconds and then it makes itself a, like a list of all the open networks that it finds and then it connects to the strongest signal okay and it does that every 30 seconds and then it just repeats the signal that it finds on the strongest channel and the strongest setting or whatever but what makes it pretty cool is I was playing with this yesterday and um, I went for a drive I stuck it in the back window of my car my, I got a Ford Taurus and I stuck it in the back window of the car and just kinda drove around with it downtown and that and uh, I'd stop along the way and check with my um, my little Acer netbook, and I could get online no matter where I went with it. It was always connecting like to a different a different hotspot. So I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool. Now I don't know if we can see, but on my uh, I'm gonna do this left-handed here. I'm connected to. I call I named this hotspot. It could you could name it really anything you wanted, but basically it it just connects to whatever whatever network happens to be the strongest signal that it finds. And um, and like I said, it does it every thirty seconds. So um, like I said, I, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. It didn't doesn't take a whole lot. Um, a whole lot to keep it running and now uh, you kind of see the lights down there flashing there that's on but uh yeah I thought that was pretty cool and like the ultimate portability I guess what makes it neat too is the fact that because it scans for open networks every 30 seconds and then connects to them or connects to the strongest signal um, you're almost a driving hot spot really if you have it in your car or truck or van or whatever I mean you could put it outside too if you wanted to I guess but um, ideally like in the back window of your vehicle um, pretty pretty much within probably 150 feet of your vehicle you could uh, you could surf the net uh, just connect to your router because your router is automatically going to connect to whatever it finds and of course if it's not then there are no hot spots around but that's pretty rare nowadays there's hot spot pretty much wherever you go but anyway so you got like I said you got the solar panel it's just it's uh, glued on top wires run in with the diode so it charges up the batteries I got an on off switch here we didn't even have to put that in there really um, I could have just left it, you know, so it just charges the, the AA batteries. There's five of them there. And then, uh, of course, when it's out in the sun, it'll just 
keep them charged and keep it running whenever there's sun. But I wanted the on-off switch because there would probably be times when I wasn't using it, so I just switch it off and maybe throw it in the throw it up in the window or something and just let it charge fully charge the batteries. Um, uh, with the Duracells, like I have the um, the Duracell 2650s here. Now it, it'll run about uh, about an hour or so on those without any sun whatsoever. Just run right off those. Um, so it's, like I said, it's just kind of more or less a flywheel effect, but it's kind of a neat little project. And uh, and like I said, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it in the back back window of my of my car and if people are around wherever I happen to have my car parked they can uh, check their email or whatever they want I just leave it open so anyway that was a, a cool little project and uh, like I said I thought some of you hackers and modders out there would think that's pretty cool for like war driving and whatever else you guys do out there but uh but anyway, alright, well, thanks, thanks for watching my video. Bye.